let's have a discussion on ohm's law this is very basic law of electrical engineering this law states that electric current through a conductor is directly proportional to the applied voltage across the conductor before going through the detailed study of this law we will try to understand the process of current flowing through a metallic conductor actually current through a conductor depends upon drift velocity of free electrons inside the conductor in room temperature there are some free electrons available inside any metal body whenever external voltage or potential difference is applied across the metal conductor these initial free electrons due to electric field start drifting towards the positive terminal of the conductor during this journey free electrons collide with other atoms of the metal and create more free electrons due to the same electric field these newly created free electrons also accelerate towards the positive terminal of the conductor but they also collide with other atoms bounce back in random manner and reaccelerate again and in addition to that they also create new free electrons this flow of electrons means transfer of negative charge from negative terminal to positive terminal of the conductor rate of transfer of negative charge from lower potential to higher potential is referred as electric current from higher potential end to lower potential end of the conductor hence electric current in a metallic conductor solely depends upon number of free electrons available inside that conductor again number of free electrons is function of applied voltage across the conductor as we increase the voltage across the conductor electric field strength will increase which increases the number of free electrons that is for more voltage more free electrons tend to drift towards positive potential end on the conductor again more voltage means more strength of electric field means more acceleration of the electrons towards higher potential hence at a higher voltage more free electrons with more acceleration causes more electric current so it can be concluded for a particular conductor current varies with applied voltage and for metallic conductor this variation is linear that means electric current through a particular conductor is directly proportional to the applied voltage across it this is ohm's law here we should remember some basic things such as the tendency of creating free electrons for a particular metallic conductor depends upon atomic structure of the metal for different metals different energy levels are required to remove valence electrons of atom to create free electron that is why tendency of creating free electrons in silver is much higher than copper and again that of copper is higher than aluminum again as cross sectional area of the conductor increases the free electrons get broader path to drift if length of the conductor increases the potential stress per unit length that is voltage gradient is decreased this also causes less free electrons to be created hence less current again if the temperature of the conductor increases there would be more intermolecular vibration in the metallic conductor which results in more collision of free electrons more collision means fewer electrons drift from one end to other hence less current hence at last we can say that electric current through a conductor not only depends upon the applied voltage across the conductor it also depends upon the material of the conductor dimension of the conductor and also on the temperature if all these factors are constant then only electric current is directly proportional to applied voltage that means v is directly proportional to i or v equal to r into i where r is constant of proportionality this r is known as the resistance of the conductor this resistance can be determined for a particular conductor from its material dimensions and temperature this is what is ohm's law finally this law states the current flowing through a metallic conductor 
is proportional to the voltage applied across its ends provided the temperature and all other conditions remain constant. Thank you.